So I'm going to show you guys, if you guys can see that right there, it's not such a great finish. I'm just using some simple soap and water solution. Now this is car wash soap, not dish soap. So um, I'm going to quickly wipe it down and I normally rip these tags off the uh, microfibers but I really don't care right now because I am going to polish the entire hood anyways. But I'm just showing you that I'm going to wipe it down, um, let it dry briefly. And you can see it's still such a hazy, hazy finish. Um, you see right here is where I wet sand it slightly. And if you look, there's a bunch of highs and low spots. That's what's creating this fuzzy holographic finish. Um, he did tell me that this was ceramic coated and you know, personally I would have shot the hood fresh with clear because that entire process consists of wet sanding the entire hood off uh, uh, smooth and then shooting clear over it and then obviously after the clear coat is cured then I would have, you know, uh, the, the painter would have wet sanded it down, smoothed it, buffed it, cut it and polished it. Um, but this is kind of the process I'm doing now. I had this taped up earlier um, and prior to this uh, I, I wiped it off with alcohol to kind of get whatever dust or um, oil or residue that's on it and some of the some of the uh, ceramic coat kind of just removed off. But like I said again here you can see let's focus. You can see the highs and lows right in this section and then up here it's pretty flat so if you were to feel this I mean it seems smooth but this is like you know it's like a big butt right here super smooth um, so yeah so here's your highs and lows again uh, I didn't hit this really aggressively on purpose because I wanted to show you the difference of getting the highs and lows off so this would require more wet sanding but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and polish this and you guys will see with the overhead light the difference in, you know, the finish here versus the finish here and here. Be right back. All right, now to reveal exactly what we did, remember we had two pieces of tape um, coming this way and this side was the polished side and then this side, this spot right here had tape on it and then this spot right here we wet sanded and then this spot was tape again. So if you look closely, this is the polished section versus where we had tape over, there was there's a little bit of haziness where the tape is compared to where it's not taped on the left side square. Now let's go on to the right side square and look how clear you could see that the headlight or the light on the overhead compared to the tape section and compared to the polished section. So one polished, two taped, and three was wet sanded. Look at the, look at the big difference. Look how clear you can see that is. And, and we just did a small section and probably that was like a 30 second wet sand. Now imagine if we did the entire hood. So now let's look at the whole wet sanded section and remember the bottom of it was had still had a lot of highs and lows. Now going towards where we're at right now it's where there's a lot of clarity. You see that? There's still a lot of high and low spots. And then right about there is where it's nicely sanded. So for more video purposes, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and wet sand a whole bigger section and then just polish a whole bigger section and we can compare wet sanded, polished, and then just whatever the hood was originally right here with my overhead light.
All right, so I sanded more, and as you can see, the gap to the edge is a lot greater because um, I took the old tape off, put new tape, and I gave it another about half an inch lip so that this is a hang hang lip so that this way I polish this and I you know kind of go further than where I polished um, just so that I, it'll blend in together but like I said this is just for demonstration purposes um, this section will be uh, just polish and then this will be carbon fiber so uh, we're gonna go ahead and start polishing so you guys can see the differences um, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the surface with a alcohol solution so any of the previous greases from my fingertips aren't um, aren't in the polish as I'm polishing it so here we go So just a quick review of everything, um, all the products I use, I'm going to shoot it in the description below. Uh, anyways, most of the sanding stuff I got just from Walmart, um, sanding block, you know, you get some like this from Walmart, uh, I think it was a few bucks. I cut it up specifically for this demonstration video, there's a little piece I use and then, you know, a uh, little tiny piece of sandpaper, hold on. Here's a little piece I used with a tiny little piece of sandpaper, 2000 grit. And the liquiding agent I was using was simple, just a little bit of soap, um, car wash soap and water. Don't really need, you know, all the extra stuff. I don't like using dish soap on the cars at all. Um, that's just my preference. Uh, and then polish, I used, uh, or not co polish, compound. I used uh, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. This is some really, really, really great stuff. Um, and for like 10 bucks so you get that uh, I was using a rotary rotary polisher rotary yeah I was using a rotary polisher with um, I was using a rotary polisher from Harbor Freight I think it was like 30 bucks back then when I got it it still works good um, lifetime warranty man can't complain so if that thing ever does fail I'll just take it back and get it replaced um, and then the pad I was using is the Chemical Guys Hex Logic. This is an older pad. Um, I knew I'm doing this for demonstration, so I'll be using a brand new pad for this specific reason. I just used the pad that I had. Um, I, I wash these. Um, some pads I reuse, uh, you know, just depending on what I'm doing. But they're, they're great stuff, uh, you know. I prefer some of the other stuff for actually cutting paint, but you know, for like I said, for this demonstration purpose, I used a used one, and I just threw on some Meguiar's compound, um, some sanding block, and then for tape, frog tape. Frog tape is important because the edges stay crisp. Um, sometimes the edges don't lift or anything. Uh, I like that stuff too. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, comments. You know, I think I highly suggest this kind of stuff for my fingerprint. Highly suggest this kind of stuff for uh, VIS racing or Saibon or any of the other carbon fiber products if you get it from even from Japan. Um, and if you guys need help with that kind of stuff, you know, shoot me a DM on Instagram at BattlebornSTI. Um, I'll help you guys get that stuff. Um, I'm not doing YouTube to make money. I'm doing YouTube simply to, you know, share my experiences with other car enthusiasts like you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Um, like, comment below. Uh, I'm not gonna ask you guys to subscribe. Like I said, I don't, I'm doing YouTube for your entertainment, not for my pocket. Later. Bitch, I did it. I made it. I'm loved and I'm hated. I started from the bottom.